Hi, I'm Caitlin. So this year I participate in the New York State Student Research Awards with a project that Daisies will bloom today, Virginia Hall, American Spy and Saboteur's Communication, Pivotal to Allied Victory in World War II, and my research was presented as a website. So one of the hardest things about beginning research, especially in a topic unfamiliar to you, is finding primary sources so you could analyze them and formulate your own perspective on an event or figure. So I feel like this is especially daunting when it comes to historical research because not only do you need to learn how to navigate archives and databases and learn how to comb through them to find the source you need, you're also challenged to find which institutions has the information you're seeking. So even so, one of the most rewarding aspects of such research is when you find the exact source you wanted or something that unexpectedly changes the course of your research. So that, like I said, this is a really hard process, so I love that this competition acknowledges and rewards it, which is a big part of why I wanted to enter. So I first discovered the story of Virginia Hall after reading about the women of the Special Operations Executive in Britain. This was an espionage and sabotage unit during World War II. I was fascinated by how an American amputee and woman was able to join a British espionage organization and become a crucial part of the resistance in France, albeit somewhat unknown at the time. The more I read about her story, the more I wanted to research it, so I did. Circling back to the importance of navigating archives, one of my favorite moments while researching Virginia Hall was discovering some of her reports and those of her colleagues in documents from the French National Archives. I wasn't able to find documents pertaining to Hall at first by simply searching her name, but as I tried different keywords like her circuits and alliances, I was able to get a result. So it was really great, first of all, to be able to find that source, and it was also really fun getting to read about the events from her perspective. That's actually something that really surprised me while conducting my research. Despite the women of the SOE and OSS gaining attention in recent years, it was still really difficult to find direct documents about them. Information was spread out between different archives and sometimes classified differently than I expected. So I've just talked a lot about how I combed through different archives for my project this year, but I wouldn't have been able to do all that work if I wasn't passionate about my project. So something I tell all future researchers is to take the time to explore different topics and find the one you're the most interested before starting research. If you aren't interested, you won't enjoy your research process and it'll be so much harder to do. Good luck!